Hi, I'm Michelangelo Badio, and welcome to my home studio, Monster Mix Studio. Yeah. I've had Monster Mix Studio for 12 years. It started off in Los Angeles with two ADATs and a little mixing board that I did my first solo CD called No Boundaries. And I called it Monster Mix because a friend of mine uh, heard one of the rough mixes of No Boundaries and he, and he goes, dude, that's monster, man. He's like, it sounds like a monster mix, bro. Um, if you would have seen the studio five years ago, you'd, you would have seen racks of pieces of hardware, meaning like this. But it's just, it's all software now. When we record, I've got a series of mic pre's. We'll take the microphones from the amplifier, run them into the studio, run them through mic pre's, and then bring them right in um, through a Motu interface right into the computer. You know, the mixing console is in Pro Tools. You know, all the effects are in Pro Tools now. This studio is only for guitars. And let me show you a little bit about this. This rack is what I call vintage digital. I've got uh, a Voodoo Valve here, a Rocktron Chameleon, I like those. Uh, I love Marshall, This is I've got a JMP one and then I bought a second one just in case. And then I use things like a, a Repliflex and Telefex. All these are effects um, underneath. And so just this rack alone, I've got four different amplifiers. Um, I have a power amp here in case I want to plug it into speakers. And I've got hundreds and hundreds of effects. I've done every solo album uh, that I've put out. I've done numerous DVDs here, and I've probably done 15 or 20 albums uh, from other people. And that's not even counting guest appearances. I really started collecting guitars in the 1980s, and over the course of my life, I've had hundreds of guitars. Uh, the ones that I still have now, I have 67. And I'm always in guitar acquisition mode. I want 67 more. <laughs> this is guitar number one of my signature guitar. I like history. I love medieval armor. And so what we did was we actually made NASCAR flames, hence the flame part, using Knights of the Round Table armor and even chain mail. This touch guitar is a guitar and bass at the same time. It even comes with the book. It's a Dave Bunker touch guitar. That's pretty bad. <laughs> this is a 1968 uh, Fender Mustang that is in such perfect condition, there's not rust anywhere. They just sound really cool. This is a 1986 Fender um, Strat that's a reissue of the 1962s. Now what makes this guitar cool is that Fender actually at that time didn't have their custom shop. So this was the first year that they had set up the custom shop and the first year that they reissued the 62s. I got this um, in 1997, it's Bird's Eye Maple. Uh, it's got Stevie Ray Vaughan uh, Texas Special pickups in there. And uh, it's a really nice sounding Strat. And I like the champagne sparkle because it guaranteed that I would never ever play this guitar live. This guitar, uh, there's actually two that are identical. It's 29 frets. This is military fighter aircraft aluminum. It is really light. This one is a USA Dean Flying V, and the wood is called Spalted Maple. To me, this is the ultimate flying V. This is the first um, guitar that I'd received from Dean. It's a USA Blue Burst ML. When I was in high school, I used to draw different guitar shapes, and I saw this saxophone player named Rassan Roland Kirk, and he played two saxes at the same time. And so what I did was I said, I'm gonna do that on guitar. So my first double guitar, I put a flying V on a Thomas snare stand. We put it on a dolly, duct taped it so it wouldn't fall off. We wheeled it out. I was holding one guitar right-handed, and I went up to the dolly that had a left-handed guitar. People just freaked out. And so when they did, I realized I was onto something, and that's when I started designing the actual guitar. No human plays a guitar perpendicular to their body. It's on an angle. 
So I took a protractor and I said, this is 110 degrees. I had drawing after drawing of, of guitars. So I said, I need a company. And guess who happened to be in Chicago? Dean Guitars. I told them what I wanted and Dean Guitars built the very first double guitar. Uh, I own six double guitars. Uh, the, the original Dean double is in the Hard Rock Cafe, but I have some really, really interesting ones. And uh, let's start with some of the oldest ones. This is the only Gibson double guitar in existence. This guitar is 100% original, all of it. The second one is a, an original BC Rich double. When you put the guitar in the case, it weighs over 70 pounds. This is the guitar that I used in the movie uh, Shock 'em Dead, and I still have it. I love it, never get rid of it. This double guitar is probably my most famous one and photographed. Uh, this is the Dean, uh, it's the Mach 7 Jet Double. I probably did about two, 200 shows with this guitar around the world, maybe, maybe 300, I'm not sure. This is another Dean double guitar that's based on the design of the Mach 7. They actually put a graphic on a thin sheet of metal to get this finish. So talk about heavy metal. So you've seen some of my guitar collection and you've seen how I record in my studio, but I have to admit, it's time to practice, practice, practice. So see ya!